Have you ever wondered how much your faith influences what God can do in your life? Today, we will explore a powerful moment in the ministry of Jesus and uncover the profound connection between faith and God's work in our lives. Let us give thanks and praise to our Heavenly Father, who in His infinite wisdom and love calls us to a life of faith, trusting in His power and goodness. His mercies are new every morning, and His grace abounds toward those who believe in Him. The scripture for today comes from Matthew chapter 9, verse 29. Then He touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, let it be to you. This verse is part of a remarkable story where Jesus encounters two blind men who follow him, crying out for mercy. The men approach Jesus with a plea to restore their sight. Jesus, aware of their faith, asks them if they believe he is able to do this. When they affirm their belief, Jesus touches their eyes and says, according to your faith, let it be to you and their sight is restored. The context of this passage is essential. Jesus had been performing many miracles, demonstrating his divine authority and compassion. However, the emphasis in this story is not just on Jesus' power to heal, but on the faith of those who seek his help. The two blind men believed that Jesus could do what they asked, and their faith was the key to their healing. This passage speaks volumes about the relationship between our faith and God's work in our lives. Jesus' words, according to your faith, let it be to you, reveal that our faith plays a crucial role in experiencing God's power and blessings. It's not that our faith manipulates God, but rather faith is the means by which we open our hearts to receive what God is willing and able to give. When we approach God with genuine faith, trusting in His goodness and His ability to do all things, we position ourselves to receive His grace and mercy. In our lives today, this verse challenges us to examine the quality of our faith. Do we truly believe that God can meet our needs, heal our wounds, and guide us through life's challenges? Do we trust that His plans for us are good even when we don't fully understand them? The faith that Jesus speaks of is not a passive belief, but an active trust in God's promises, a confidence that He will do what He has said He will do. This doesn't mean that faith guarantees we will receive everything we ask for in the way we expect. God's ways are higher than our ways, and His understanding is beyond ours. However, when we live by faith, we align ourselves with God's will and purpose, trusting that whatever He does will ultimately be for our good and His glory. Let us then cultivate a faith that is not only deep, but also active, a faith that trusts God in every situation, knowing that He is faithful to His promises. As we grow in faith, we will see God work in ways that are beyond what we could ask or imagine. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank You for the gift of faith and for the many ways You work in our lives. Help us to trust you more each day, to believe in your power and goodness, and to live in a way that reflects our confidence in you. May our faith be strong and steadfast, and may we always seek your will above all else. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Goodbye, dear brothers and sisters. May the peace of Christ be with you always. See you all again tomorrow. God bless you all.